Welcome to Bubble Bath Buffet, where we showcase local food and bath products in the tub. Today's episode of Bubble Bath Buffet is sponsored by local nano brewery Revival Brucade, which offers the highest quality and most unique selection of beers on tap brewed right below their arcade floor. It's also sponsored by Deepox Daba, which is a family owned business that provides yummy, fresh, authentic East Indian food made with locally sourced items and produce. If that was not enough, <laughs> I also have a guest in the tub with me. Today I have Tigra Lee. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining me yes. today on this bubble bath journey. Thanks for having me. <laughs> like, what better way to spend a Saturday, especially after all the shit we've been doing? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> then in a bubble bath. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. My cameraman's like, yo, got some bubbles on your nose. I think it's everywhere. Okay, but what if I like the bubbles on my nose? <laughs> it just makes it worse. <laughs> We have this food in front of us, so mm -hmm. we're gonna dig in first before we chat, uh, before it gets cold. Um, yeah, you have to. So, so I like to dig my hands in, so they're in the water. And then just like real fast. whip them up. <laughs> and whip. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Got it. Oh. Okay, I am wanting to eat this. Okay, so I'm gonna just. I have to make sure. Uh, I because he gave us Deepak. All right. Oh my yes. God. Bless Deepak. Deepak Daba, we, I met Deepak through the festival scene. Uh, he has a food truck mm. uh, and he goes to almost every festival and uh, we all love him. And he came by, brought us so much food. So we have, we have, we already, oh, you have a chai tea over there. Mm -hmm. We have uh, mango lassi, which I have not tried yet. Actually. It's highly delicious. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. Okay. We have veggie chicken beef samosas mm -hmm. and then we also have curries we have butter chicken and butter paneer and then we have tandoori chicken too so mm -hmm. there's a lot going on you have the tandoori chicken yeah mm, um, this is like minty minty sauce Ooh. Mm -hmm. i love everything is absolutely handmade he um has a spot in crossroads farmers market mm -hmm. he's also in the midst of opening up other locations which is incredible. He needs to come to Lloyd's. <laughs> right? Yeah. Deepak, you gotta go to Lloyd. Okay, just fling it in. <laughs> yes! Okay, All right. I'm gonna try this. You going just, in? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in. This mm. gets rice into my bubbles. Oh yeah, you're gonna have so much food in your tub. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna yes. try this tea. And he said this was a kind of cheese. Is that what he said? Mm. Is that the paneer? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, cottage cheese. Mm. See, I got rice in my tub already. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, so I got good. beef. Bo's got veggie right. then. He needs to be on Cooking with Cultures. Yes. Yes. Yes, and he's so nice. Ask yeah. him. He'll be like, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. He also, because he's at the farmer's market, you can get it fresh. You can also get frozen meals. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure if he's on Skip the Dishes or anything, but that is fine because you should definitely try to order directly from the restaurant. Yeah. Um, you can even get the chai tea so you can make it at home. Oh. Sometimes I just go there and get a bunch of chai tea. This chai tea is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just spicy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit spicy. Do you like spicy food? I'm not good with spicy food. I know. I know. So we have like friends off for five seconds. <laughs> 
And we're, we're back. back. <laughs> and we're back now. Now that we're friends again. Mm-hmm. You gotta tell me. I mean, I you, you gotta tell the people, because I already know what you're up to. Yeah. I already know what you do. I know where you live. Do you? No, I don't. <laughs> it's Lloyd, so it's pretty small. Just knock on every fucking house. Yeah, tell the people what you're up to, what you're doing these days. Okay. <sighs> Well, Tell the people about you. About me. So my name's Tigerly Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> I have three kids. Woo! <laughs> right? Three so much fun. I'm going to send Taylor one. Um, you keep them. <laughs> I got one. And yeah, so I own a dog grooming business in Lloyd. And I do house call grooming. So I groom in the pet's home. Which is... Especially for COVID right now, I actually prefer it because there's limited contact Mm. and I can just groom by myself in whatever area. So, yeah, yeah. it's got to be interesting going into other people's spaces, though. Like, do you know these people? No, No. I I don't. And I have so many security options. Like I send people my location to where I'm going. I have an SOS app on my phone. I have another app that Aaron has where he can see me in real time. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and he can get the directions to where I am, too. So, Do you tell the people that when you show up, like, listen, they watching. I got people watching. <laughs> they know where I am. <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't run into anyone, like... Worthy of that yet. Yeah, okay. I haven't run into anyone creepy yet. And then I'm co-founder slash president, hate labels, though, <laughs> of Lloyd Minster Vermilion for Equity. Yes, Mm -hmm. and that's how I got to know you, because we've only been connected for like a year now. Yeah. Feels like forever. It does. It does feel like forever. (laughs) We've been through a lot. Been been through through a lot. lot. I was going to say, I think after you go through the shit we have. Yes. I don't even know. Well, I met you when you were rural Alberta against racism, and we were still what Vermilion Unites for Equality. Yep. And then we both had name changes. Thank God. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, rar, rar. No. Oh, rar. <laughs> I know. This ain't gonna work for me. I mean, Just to let you know, the bubbles are delicious as well. <laughs> I think it's uh, palmovis. Pal- palmovis. <laughs> Dish soap. Palm olive. <laughs> yeah, that one. Who wants big bubbles? <laughs> Use the palm holiday. What Sometimes you can grab it on sale. What That's your rice. This is beef. <laughs> Wait, what is this? I'm gonna just take this section of bubble out. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is beef within the palm holiday. <laughs> but you know the palm holiday really does. <laughs> I am never going to let you live that down. Is it palm olive? Palm olive! (laughs) (laughs) Oh my my god. I can't even wet my eyes, my tears, because my hands are wet. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Bring it back. Mm -hmm. I was trying to see the letters in my head. I'm like, "Mm." (laughs) how do you pronounce this? And that's why I'm in a tub. That's why this is what I'm doing for... I was going to say money, but that's not true. (laughs) This is just all because I want to. Yes. This is a far, this is so different than what we're usually doing together, which is yelling at racists. Yes. 100% (laughs) yelling at racists. (laughs) And crying ladies. Oh my God. (laughs) Bo remembers. And then forgiving our mothers. Oh God. Have you forgave her yet? No, actually. <laughs> that was a loaded question. He's like, forgive your mother. Wait, should I? Yeah. I don't even know what to say other than people just put on a mask. Like, I don't even understand. Oh, my gosh. The amount of times I have to wear a mask is maybe, like, three hours a week because I don't fucking go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, where do you need to go to wear a mask other than getting groceries? Maybe go to the bank. And, I mean, like, if this is what you think oppression is... <laughs> We have we got a story for you. We, yeah. <laughs> and like the ceremony too, like the church, um, that Grace Life Church. 
It's a cult. One hundred percent. The the entire like anti mask QAnon, all of that bullshit is a huge cult. Yeah. Yeah, and um, they have no idea. They just have no idea what it is, unless like they're tokenized people. They <laughs> they they kind of know. I think. I don't know. I don't even know. I feel like when I was mainly used as a token in my life, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Right. Like when I had to put out a statement. Right. Um, about a show I hosted five years ago yes and looking back now i'm just like i was i'm disgusted with myself Mm. and there was just so many reasons like i just i didn't understand yeah why it was bad also like i had i'm just i'm mad at myself because the history of the song is right there you can google it Mm. tells you Mm -hmm. there's articles everywhere about it Mm. i didn't do that and so it makes me understand kind of how these QAnon anti-mask people, they just get themselves into this echo chamber yes. of where there's only one flow of information, yes, one type of information, right? and they're not searching out other ways. Because even as a black woman, I refuse to acknowledge that black pussy, let's just say it, <laughs> this yes. band was like, there's a whole history behind it. And mm. it's just, I ignored, I gaslit i did nothing about it i hosted the show they literally used i remember and mark i love you i love you you're a homie we were both different people then but even being asked to host that show simply because it's like oh we have a black woman she's hosting it it can't be racist yes but i mean like that's part of growing i think that we've all said and done super suspicious and super problematic things before I 100% have. Yeah. Yeah, and it and it does come along with the identity issue too, right? It being biracial, not having that acceptance, yeah. not having the, like I don't know about you, but I had like my immediate family but still wasn't fully accepted by mm. them, but then my close friend circle was mostly white. Mm. So, yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had my mom and then no other family and my mom was white. And then yes. all of my friends have white. been white. Yeah. I remember though, like my best friend in Didsbury when I lived there, Tara Ice. Shout out to Tara. Mm. I remember the first time seeing her in school, she was also biracial. And you know what you do when you see black people, even you just do walking the down the street. Yes. And we saw each other in school and we're like, ah and then we were best friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was, you know that might have been my first black friend, to be honest. Because mm-hmm. I grew up in Brampton, Ontario, so it was pretty mm. it was pretty diverse. Um, so I can't imagine what it would be like in growing up in actual rural Alberta. Mm. I mean, but I'm experiencing it now as an yeah. adult. And it has not changed. Literally. I tell you that. No, it hasn't. And it's only getting worse because we're speaking out about it. Yeah, you know? it's definitely going to get worse. And that was one of the first things that I had heard when I started activism was that it's going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. Nobody likes to be called out on their shit. <laughs> True. The fragility is real. <laughs> so Legit. <true. laughs> not not talking about racism in our town. As like guy mm. posts signs with racial slurs on them. Like it's just unreal. Well, everybody, racism is real. Mm-hmm. COVID-19 is real. I'm sorry to break it to you. It is. Um, it is real. The pandemic's not over just because you say it is. Mm. All right. Um, and if you choose to stay open as a business, <laughs> you could potentially face large fines or jail time. <laughs> so. I'm going to tell you, all the restaurants featured on Bubble Bath Club today, season two, uh, are actively working towards being anti-racist because <sighs> it's a lifelong journey. Yes. They follow guidelines. Um, they need to be supported mm-hmm. because small businesses are absolutely dying right now. Yeah, um, they are 100%. Yeah. And, yeah, we need to support locals, support local businesses, mm-hmm. be good humans, be actively anti-racist. Actively. Actively. Silence is violence, 100%. Yes. Well, thank you for joining me Thanks in this for tub today. Me. Let's cheers. Yes. These were so good. These were delicious. Thank you, Deepak. We love you so much. Thank you, Deepak. Mm. Mm.